If you can't tell, um, I've just woken up. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is um, another kind of different video, but still beauty related. So, am I ever going to do a video that's not beauty related? I was on Snapchat the other day and came across a cosmopolitan story. They did a segment on beauty hacks and I thought, let's give them a go. So today we're going to be trying out some beauty hacks. These beauty hacks have been around for a long time. I first came across a lot of beauty hacks back in like 2013 when I was getting into makeup. So yeah. I hope you all enjoyed last week's videos. So the TikTok challenge and the makeup review. If you haven't seen them, the links will be down below. I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this today. I've literally just woken up and some of these, we're hoping they work. Hoping. Do you like my t-shirt? This is really cute, I love it. It says famous soon. Got it because it's kind of like banter. It's from H&M. It's $7.99. Bought it purely based on the fact that it's neon green. Paired it with my cycling shorts and my Ivy Park bralette because could I have a bit of Beyonce in here? So if you would like to see these beauty hacks, if you'd like to see how we get on with them, if they work, then please carry on watching. First one we're going to be doing is the whole concealer in a triangle like under the eyes. Now I always do this, however I always like drag it down here and pull it up. So today we're going to try it where I just drag it down and up there. I know that a lot of people probably don't do this one anymore. Probably look like a clown doing it. So what I'll do, oh my god I look like a clown. <laughs> I'll do is I'll do one eye like this, one eye how I normally do it, and then see the difference. I mean, it is looking like it's waking me up a little bit, but I mean, concealer does that for me. <laughs> you can kind of tell the difference. I'm just going to carry on highlighting the rest of my face just so we look a little bit brighter because I look sleep deprived. I think I'll stick to this side because it brings my eye up just a little bit. I mean, it makes me feel a little bit droopy and a little bit bleh on this side, if you know what I mean. I like highlighter that brings the face up instead of dragging it down, which I think that this is kind of doing to me. I'm going to quickly set this and then I will be right back. Ooh. For hack number two, um, this is one that a lot of people know about. This is using a lipstick as a blusher. I got Ruby Woo from MAC, so I am literally just going to put a little bit on my fingers. Like that. And I'm just going to start... I don't know, are you meant to do it with your fingers or are you meant to put it on and then buff it out? What the hell is that? No time for that! <laughs> let's, let's just move on. Hack. <clears throat> what is wrong with my voice? Hack number three requires a hairdryer. With said hairdryer, it requires Google. And with said hairdryer, it requires eyelash curlers. Apparently with this, turn it on to the hottest heat, heat up your curlers, and apparently it curls your eyelashes a lot more. Now because I know that I have a hairdryer, my whole body is freezing.
proceed with caution when using them because they'll be quite hot. Ah, the metal is hot. I'm trying to curl my eyelashes. Have a look. Oh, sis. You can tell the difference. It opens your eyes up a lot more. So this side has lifted it a lot better than this side. Um, and I can tell that because my outer third lashes, these are a lot more curled than these ones. These are hardly curled at all. Did I even get the hairs in? That's a real question. Still not as curled on that side as they are on this side. I'd say that is a good hack. Um, obviously depends on how strong your eyelashes are. Mine aren't really that strong because I used to have eyelash extensions and they're pretty weak. It does work. It's a hack. So it's a yes from me. N next we... What happened? <laughs> next we have the hack that everyone knows and yeah. It is a spoon. So you basically use a spoon, put it on your eyelid, and then put your mascara on. I look like a pirate. And put your mascara on, and it doesn't get any mascara on your lids. Okay. It does work. It's kind of like if you want the kind of natural look. Um, by all means, go for it. It works, and I'm not mad about it. It's done all right. You just can't get in the inner corners. <gasps> oh. <sighs> oh, you fucker. That is really hot. Just burn my eyelid. The spoon hack is a good hack. This one is for your lips. So hack number, whatever number we're on, I've lost count. Four, five, I don't know. Take a lip liner. I've got Cherry from MAC and you just create an X there and it gives you apparently the perfect Cupid's bow. So I'm gonna try it. Again, I'm just gonna take Ruby Woo. Okay, so for that, it's giving me a very natural lip um, in terms of shape. Normally, I go quite huge, um, but it's it's nice. Um, I mean, I would use it, especially for red, because sometimes with red lipstick, you can overline and then the rest of your lips just look awful. This doesn't look too bad, but this does take us into the next pack, so... What you need for this is you need a piece of tissue, a powder brush, and some powder. Now apparently everyone knows this, it's always on this morning. You put the tissue over your mouth and press it to your lips. Then you apply powder and then apparently it lasts all day. Press it down. And also apparently moisturizer as well. So that's how it stays on all day. We'll see how it goes. Still feels a bit tacky, um, but we'll just have to check in at a later point today to see if it's still on, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna be licking my lips a lot because I do that. See how this lasts, see if it bleeds, see what it does, but who knows for now. Ooh. I think that is all of the hacks that I've got for you today. Some of these hacks worked, some of them didn't. I mean, look at that. I think the majority of them did, but it's in terms of like how I like my stuff to look, how I like my makeup to look. So with the concealer, I like it looking more structured and up instead of coming down. The blush I will never use. I'll stick to my normal blush. Mascara and the spoon trick. Yes, that is really good. However, I don't think anyone is going to be using a spoon anytime soon in their makeup tutorial. My God, I did a rhyme! Well done me.
the lips the cupid's bow trick yes i like that it kind of gives you that natural looking luscious lip and the eyelash curler trick we love a good hair dryer that's pretty much everything i'm gonna go eat and drink and see if this lipstick stays on from that last hat and i'm just gonna chill all day i need a job but yeah guys if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a huge thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you never miss a post comment down below let me know what you think if you like the hacks if you have any more hacks you want me to try out let me know if there's any other videos you want me to do because we want to make this channel the best channel it can possibly be we want to create great content for you so yeah thank you all for watching and i will see you on friday